So today we take a look at Analyti. This is a Wi-Fi speed tester or Wi-Fi analyzer. Now it does more than just give you what speeds you're getting, guys. It gives you a breakdown of what your capabilities are. So with the current speed, if you can only do 480p, if you can do 720, you can do 1080, all the way up to 8K, it will kind of give you a guide to let you know where you are. So for you guys that are experiencing buffering or you're wondering what's going on with your devices, especially if it's on wireless, this is a great place to start. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick run through of the application, see what its capabilities are. Also, I am gonna show you how to install it. It is in my file link store, but I am gonna kind of show you how to get to my store and I will reference my file link setup video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Before we jump into the overview of the application, big shout out to everyone that subscribed to the channel, everyone that comment in the comment section. Keep the comments coming, keep your suggestions coming, and I do a lot of videos based on recommendations for you guys. So drop a comment, hit the thumbs up, and I will try to respond to every comment in the comment section. Of course, if you're streaming, if you want to access Geolock content, guys, uh, what that means is that if you're out of the US, for instance, and there's a service that's only available in the US, you can use a VPN to make it look like you're in the US. US or look like you're in a location where you're actually not. So check the description of the two VPN services that I use and recommend and also check out my VPN playlist. A lot of cool videos in there as well. Breakdown of what VPN is and how it can help you and how it can make your streaming experience a lot better. So let's go ahead and launch Analyti. So automatically guys it starts doing a speed test now for me i am paying for 100 megabits per second it is a little bit lower but with my setup right now i had the fire stick is under my desk it's going through like five layers just to get to my router so this is not a ideal speed for me but if i moved it from its location it will give me better results so just for demonstration purposes guys you can see it gives you a speed test right away it tells you the network that you're on right here so i'm on my 5g and it also gives you the download and your upload speed now this is where i think it's very important guys so play video stream so you have on wi-fi you have on ethernet and you can see what you can expect to be able to stream with your current speed so 720p I'm good to go 1080 I'm good to go 4k qfhd good to go there as well 4k uhd i'm also good and you can see with my current speed not enough for 8k now below you do have some options where you can run hourly tests so if you guys want to kind of monitor your speed over time you can go ahead and just run your hourly test so let's turn that on and over time it will do its checks and it will give you uh, the speeds that it has experienced in those intervals so pretty cool so this is the basic stuff if you guys just need it for speed tests or see if you're good to go getting your stream that's where you want to be now if you want to do a more detailed test go ahead and click on detailed and this gives you a lot of information it gives you the router access point gives you the mac address your ip address also gives you your ipv6 address your service provider your isp and it gives you your public ip address now of course i will be blocking this out you can just see a lot of information maybe more information that you need so scroll down a little bit it gives you the latency right here guys gives you your signal strength it gives you a link speed so this is the actual connection between your your two devices so for instance my fire stick to my router this is the speed i'm getting and then the speed of my network is something different so if this is below a certain point that's the max speed that you can get on your network hopefully that makes sense to you guys give you a ping round trip your dns resolution latency so it gives you a lot of information and this is probably more suited for the advanced users but if you guys want to dive into this it does have a lot of options so wi-fi networks it gives you the information of your network your router once again but if you go down you can kind of see what networks are in the area go to the channels below it tells you that this device which is the fire tv stick second generation does not support channel width therefore all channels are assumed 20 megahertz so it gives you the channel information right there guys on this network these are all the devices that are connected to the network that i'm currently on so you scroll through you can see summer name like this is the google home right here this is my security system it has my me box right here so it gives you all the devices that are connected if you guys don't use the um the web portal in your router you can just go ahead and jump on this application and just find out some basic information about your router now the IPERF3 
three. You have the client, you have the server, both of them. And what this is, is just a tool that measures your maximum available bandwidth. So you can do a lot of stuff in here. Like if you go to the client, you can go ahead and um, do a certain server or do a certain IP address. And uh, like I said, this is probably more for your advanced users. Now down to your settings. You can change the theme. Right now it's on a dark theme. You can change that to light. You have the speed test right there. So it gives you information of what it's doing. So the test method is HTTP concurrent pinging. So uh, pings every two seconds. And down it gives you what the targets are. So pings Google. This is the Google DNS. I believe Google has two DNSs. Um, 8888 and 8844. So either one will work. And you scroll down alerts, warnings, and notifications. So alert when testing mobile network. So that's turned on right there. So go back into our settings so just different settings for your speed test so speed test you have the detailed test the automatic internet speed test you have your Wi-Fi screen and you have your IP ERF client and about so that's a basic overview of analytics guys like I said this is a very cool um, tool to have it is great for any device that you have especially if you're on a fire device or a device that's on your Wi-Fi that's having some issues maybe it's buffering maybe it's um, getting hung up or whatever the case is always want to start step one checking your speed see where you're getting and then you can go ahead and move from there so the installation is pretty straightforward i do have this in my file link store i'll put a link to my file link setup if you guys don't have file link installed on your devices of yet go ahead and check the video on the top right right now go ahead and install file link and come back when you're all done so now that we have file link installed guys i'm going to go ahead and launch it Go ahead and dismiss this. And for you guys that are new, this is the code to my filing store. It's 162-48134. Click continue. All right, so welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the VPN deals. Dismiss here. And here it is, guys. So Analyti Wi-Fi Tester. This is the version. And like I said, this is probably the best Wi-Fi speed tester or Wi-Fi analyzer that I've seen so far. So to download it, just click the download. Then click on the play button and go through the steps, go down, click install, and you're all done. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this, please drop it in the comment section below. I will be doing another video shortly showing you guys how to clean up your device, how to make sure you don't have any old files, APKs, also how to just make your device a lot faster. So definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share this video and I'll catch you on the next one.